Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about something that I haven't really talked about a lot on my channel before and uh, that is how I went vegan. So I've been vegan for about two and a half years now and for me it was a transition period going into veganism um, and I also do want to say that I have not seen any of those like cowspiracy, I've not seen earthlings. Um, I saw what the health but that was after I was already vegan um, and uh, I didn't initially go vegan for the animals. So it all started after when I was working on losing weight. So if you don't know, in February 2015, I got back from the United States after living there for a year and I noticed that I have gained weight. So I set out to lose some weight and I started in March. And by June, I think I was down to about 80, maybe 85 kilos, I think around in between there somewhere. And at that point I had lost in between 15 and 20 kilos somewhere. I started out at 98.8 kilos. And I came home and I noticed that some of the clothes that I haven't been wearing when I was gone didn't fit anymore at all or they didn't fit as well as they used to. I remember my parka jacket didn't close, um, which was what really gave me like, oh my god, I have to do something. Um, so I dropped uh, a lot of weight pretty fast within just a few months um, and that was while I was unemployed. So I, it was a lot easier. I went to gym every single day, Monday through Friday. I ate about uh, 1,200 calories, which is not at all healthy. But then again, apart from one hour at the gym, I just sat on the couch all day. And I remember it in my head as being pretty easy. I didn't feel hungry all the time. I didn't find eating 1,200 calories was a problem at all. Um, and then I uh, started working and then things got kind of put on the back burner even though I still had about 5 to 10 kilos that I still wanted to lose. Um, so I started trying different things like a um, detox tea. And the detox tea that I used, it, uh, you had to be vegetarian for two weeks. So I went vegetarian for two weeks and I drank the, um, the teas every morning and every night. Um, and it worked and then I gained it all back um, and I thought being vegetarian was so hard it had never even hit me to be vegetarian um, but after that I started like doing YouTube I did some research I started going into looking into what people were actually eating when they were not eating meat or fish um, because that's mostly what I ate when I was losing weight I ate chicken I ate eggs toast I ate one banana every morning before I went to the gym, um, but there was a lot of animal protein because it's lean and it was easy and I was used to have how that worked. So after those two weeks, I started doing some research and I came over uh, bigger YouTubers like Freely, the banana girl, and Freely definitely does not have a diet that I would be able to follow and if I ate like she does, I would gain weight so fast. Um, but she gave me some inspiration and made me see that it is possible to eat vegan and uh, be healthy to some extent. So I did some research and then I decided that I had been gaining a little bit of weight back. I didn't want to do that so I did another tea detox but I figured instead of going vegetarian I was going all in and I'm gonna be vegan for two weeks. And it sucked. I did not know what I, was, what I was doing. I had no recipes to go from. I had very little inspiration. I had no idea how I should eat to not be hungry. Um, and this tea talks also recommends that you stay around 1500 calories, uh, which is all right for um, weight loss, but that also tells you that tea doesn't really do anything. If you follow that vegetarian, 1500 calorie diet obviously you're gonna drop weight because it's less than the normal person burns in a day um, But my mind just didn't th Think of that I think so I did the tea I went vegan uh, For two weeks and then I went back to eating meat again and fish and eggs and milk and all of that I've never been a big milk drinker, but I did eat meat to some extent for pretty much every single meal um, whether it was just some ham on a piece of bread or whatever it was. So after struggling through the vegan diet for two weeks and then going back to eating meat again, 
I realized how much better my body felt when I wasn't eating animal products. And the difference for me wasn't that big when I just was vegetarian for two weeks, but when I went when I went we vegan, <laughs> there was a big difference in how I felt. Um, it, I realized how tough um, the amount of meat that I was consuming was for my body to digest and the little ball in the pit of your stomach that just never seems to go away when you're eating meat but you don't even realize that it's there until you stop and it goes away and you just feel so much lighter I felt healthier I felt um, lighter and thinner I wasn't as bloated all the time um, and my um, a lot of my uh, acne went away I have a little bit of acne still, hormonal acne that I get around that time of the month, like this one right here and this one right here. Um, but they generally go away and then they come back at, when the next month comes around and they go away and then so on. Uh, I used to have a lot of acne and back acne when I was younger. It's pretty much all gone. There's nothing left. Um, so you can see I get a lot of compliments on my skin, especially on Instagram. Um, and uh, I think that's mainly because I cut out dairy, when I'm being honest. Um, I'm not the person to push anyone into being vegan, but I do think there are a lot of benefits into not eating meat and, or at least cutting down. But even more so, I think dairy is like the bad one. Um, if you don't know, dairy is filled with pus. Um, there is a maximum level of how much pus can be in dairy. Um, and it's kind of nasty and gross. Also, milk is made to feed calves and they are meant to be growing really, really fast. And obviously the milk is made to do that and it's doing the same to you when you're consuming a lot of it. Um, at least that's what I experienced. So yeah, after those two weeks, I went back to eating everything else and I started to realize how crappy I felt. Um, at that point, I had started to live with Marius. Um, we moved in, it's gonna be three years in about a week or so. And I just didn't want to be vegan because I thought it was hard. The options, especially here in Norway, it's a really tiny country and it's not really happened a lot uh, vegan-wise in the past um, years until I went vegan. Um, and I also became vegan when there was a big spurt of people going vegan uh, because it was trendy. So when I went vegan in the summer of 2015, 15, 16, 17, no, 16, in 2016, um, I, um, I was lucky. There was a lot of other people going vegan. There was a lot of push on the grocery stores and everything like that to put out vegan products but initially I didn't even want to go vegan because I thought it was hard what am I gonna eat what about the protein you know all of those questions if you are vegan you I'm sure you know all of the questions that you get all the time um, even at work sometimes I get questions like well what do you even eat and I'm like you sit next to me eating lunch several times within a month Obviously, I'm eating the same thing as you do, and I've also had food to work where people have asked me if I'm eat having a meat day because it looked realistic. So that's basically how I went, went vegan. I did a detox. I figured out how much better I felt without it. I had about half a year, at, probably, of transitioning into veganism and being... Um, Still struggling but at least being a little bit more accustomed to what I could eat and what I couldn't eat um, how much I should eat and unlike a lot of other people I've actually gained weight since I went vegan and uh, that's because I love food and it's because I am not very good with portion control I'm not good at moving enough especially now that I work in a office job and I'm basically sitting still all day this is the first time in my life that I have an office job and I can definitely feel the toll that it's taking on my body compared to having a moving job like I've had before where you're in a cash register and you move around the store or anything where you're like moving at least a little bit all the time. 
now not so much if i move i'm going to get water or to go to the bathroom pretty much yeah i think that was pretty much it i've had questions before asking me to share my vegan story story and i haven't done that just because i don't really find it that interesting um it was a lot of coincidences that led me to being vegan if i hadn't decided to do the tea talks if I hadn't decided to do it another time being vegan, I probably would have never went vegan in the first place. Um, but I mean, it all worked out for the better. I have been vegan for about two and a half years now and uh, I feel great even though I don't eat the healthiest diet. I still feel like my body just feels better, but I'm gonna stop rambling. That's how I went vegan. Um, I probably didn't answer that many questions, so if you do have any questions about this topic or weight loss, veganism, any of that, just leave your comments down below, I always reply to the comments. So I hope you enjoy this video, remember to give it a big like if you liked it, leave any comments down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!